pretty much is a monitoring solution. It can help monitor your hardware and software. A lot of companies, when you get big, you have um, you don't want your server to go down or you don't want your website to go down. This software actually lets you know when that stuff happens. Then we have Tripwire, which is a server configuration integrity check. A lot of people, uh, for security reasons, we want to make sure nothing changed on your server and or companies have a change management process and they want to verify when change happens because if it's outside of the change management scope, then they can be in trouble by like Sarbanes, Oxygen and stuff. So it helps with the change management process. Then we have our voice over IP, which is asterisk, which when you call a company and you get the little problem, press one for support, press two for sales, they pretty much are using a PBX solution. But now you can get that little of no cost. When you call my house, you're going to get my Asher Void server. And at certain times, you're not going to get through to talk to me. I don't want to be bothered at eight, after 8 o'clock I have to put the kids to sleep. You know? Or you can screen calls. You can do a lot with that. And companies, big companies are starting to use Asher as their voice on RP. The sugar CRL, most companies have a sales and marketing team. So they need a customer relation management system. And this allows them to implement something for very low cost, which is free. Then we have Snort intrusion detection system, which actually analyzes the network to make sure no one's hacking. They have a database of different hacking signatures that can be easily detected. Viata is comparable to your Cisco products. It's a router and switching application and this is how I actually got started in learning about networking because that when I started out in IT I didn't have a lot of money to build my own labs by Cisco switches and stuff so I used Linux to build um, routers and switches because at the end of the day the technology is the same it's routing packets you know so no matter what vendor you go with it's going to do the same thing a firewall is going to block traffic so once you learn the basics of that technology, you can move across any vendor. So that's why open source can help get the basic of this technology. Then when you go into an enterprise company, you already understand it. You just got to figure out how that vendor is presenting the interface to you to do it. Then Scalix is an email solution comparable to your um, Microsoft Outlook Exchange service. So how do you get started in open source? First off, go to blackintechnology.net. We have a lot of members in our community that know stuff about open source and even closed source. We have a lot of Microsoft people in the network, a lot of programmers, a lot of networking, even IT managers. It's a good place to network. And if you have questions on how to get started in IT period, we are willing to mentor you with that. Um, then you can check out Cincinnati Linux user group. There's a lot of geeks that goes to that user group that's willing to share their knowledge. They have presentations on different applications and how to set it up. Um, then there's the Simple Linux Special Interest Group, which I believe they meet at Cincinnati State Community Center up in Evendale. I've been to a couple of their meetings. And it's a good way to network with people as well. Then browse sourceforge.net. A lot of projects are posted there. So you can go there and you say, I'm looking for accounting software. I'm, or I'm looking for any type of software. You have all these different categories. So you select the software that you want to use or learn how to do and download the app and the source code along with that. Um, then you can also visit opensource.org for more information about open source. They tell you a lot of information about open source, the different types of license that comes with your software, depending on developing software for open source. So that's a good way to get started. Then you can find some old computers on Craigslist and eBay like. Um, Greg mentioned earlier, because you want to build a lab. You want to definitely have a lab to play in, because when you get into the workforce, you can't go in and break in production. So you have to have a playground so you can completely understand exactly what it is that you want to learn. And most of all, have fun. There's projects out there, 
called MIP TV. Who all owns a DVR at home? And you probably have to pay a monthly fee to the Time Warner cable or so But you can build your own MIP TV or your own DVR system that has a lot more features. And you can play it throughout your house on all your TVs and your computer. Then you have Ubuntu Studio for people who's into music, making music. There's a distribution that's geared towards making music with software. So I believe that's the end of our presentation. I just wanted to introduce you guys to open source technology and a way to get started in your career, get some experience. I do have one question, uh, guys. How can any student here at Cincinnati State or any individual benefit from the website that you guys created? We're, we're going to actually uh, go through that right now. Um, this is our website uh, called Wax of Technology. Um, there's various different, uh, I guess, pages on our site that you can go to uh, where you can learn from, uh, learn different uh, technologies, uh, come across the community, and ask questions and things like that. So the first one we're going to actually go to is, uh, let's go to Big Talk. This is our online, our interactive uh, chat room. Uh, usually we have uh, a few people in here, and you can actually go here, chat with some of, uh, uh, some of the members. And these members are located everywhere. We've got members from California, from Atlanta, from Alabama. And a lot of them have uh, years and years and years of experience in, in information technology. So if you have a question or anything like that, or you just want to talk about technology, you can actually go to the chat room and talk with individuals there. Uh, we are going to a big forum. This is our uh, our forum, and it's basically uh, a place where you can have a discussion about anything. Uh, we've got tons of discussion going on right now. Uh, if it's something that you that you see, as far as like the iPad, like we posted something about the iPad DJ. If you have something that's just fun to talk about, as far as IT. If you want to know something about uh, different programming languages and things like that, uh, this is the place to do it. You go here, you can post a question, uh, you can talk about information technology, and somebody, there's always knowledgeable people that are on the site that will actually answer your question. We've actually got a young woman who's uh, an interior decorator now, or interior designer, that's actually moving into IT. Uh, she, she wants to become a web designer and a web developer. So she came to the site and she you know, asked some of, the, some of the members who are developers, how do I get started? What programming languages should I start with? And they were able to help her out. Uh, and I, I've actually created a video on how to uh, install a distribution called um, XM that allows you to run a web server locally on your computer. And so uh, I uploaded that video specifically for her because she didn't have all the tools that she needed or she wanted in order to, you know, want to run a web server and get experimenting with development. Um, so we'll go to BitCast. BitCast is our um, is our video cast. Um, we post uh, materials about what you know updates on the site, uh, what we're doing. We're going to be uh, start, uh, starting to extend. Uh, some of the big cast episodes so we can start doing like you know, product reviews, book reviews, things like that. Uh, we've actually uh, go to the how-to videos here. We've got how-to videos, which are screen capture videos, on how to perform certain uh, things and how to, uh, about certain applications. There's an intro to things like TCP. There's an intro to like Wireshark. I don't know if you've ever heard of Wireshark, but it's a, a network uh, a panel. Uh, so we've got things like that that teaches you how to uh, operate some of these uh, applications. 